Hey everybody, so today I wanted to show you how, if you're having problems with your Windows 10 computer, how you can go and you can reset it so that you can fix any of those problems, whether it's a driver issue, a, a problem with the program that's trying to load up, or even a problem where you're getting blue screens, but every so often it'll let you go back in the Windows. So I was going to show you how you could reset it to fix some of those problems. So the very first thing you want to do, of course, is you want to go ahead and start your computer up. Once your computer is up and you're able to get to Windows, it's not giving you blue screens or anything. Then you want to go and you want to click on Start down at the bottom left corner. And then you want to click on the gear, which is Settings. Now, once that opens up, you want to click on Update and Security. Now, inside Update and Security, you want to click on Recovery. Now, you have a few options here. The very first one is to reset this PC. Now, this is a great option for you. This will put it back to the way it was when you first got it, maybe even where it was had less stuff on it than when you did first get it because it won't have any of the extra software. It'll just be like a brand new, clean machine with nothing on it except Windows 10. Now another option is that you can go ahead and go back to a previous version of Windows 10. So if by chance you just installed one of the new builds for Windows 10, you could go back to your previous build. So maybe you installed 22H2 and you want to go back to 21H2. Well if you had just done it momentarily, you know, within the past week or so, then you could go ahead and click the button right underneath that that says get started. And then another way that you can reset it if you're still having problems is you can go down here to advanced startup, tell it to restart now. It would let you choose different options for starting up. It'll let you go into safe mode, safe mode with networking. There's all kinds of versions. So you might want to try those different options and see if any of those fixes it. The one I'm going to do today, though, is I'm going to go ahead and reset this PC. Now, the reason I'm resetting it, it's not because I'm having any trouble with it. I'm just going to give this computer away. But I wanted to show you all how you could reset it if you wanted to, so that you could give it to somebody else, you could sell it, or you could fix any problems that you're having with the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Get Started. And then it gives me two options. I can either keep my files, so it's going to get rid of Windows and all your programs, but keep your files, and then it's going to reinstall Windows. Or the second way is you can go ahead and remove everything. I just want to wipe everything that's on the drive, and I want to do a clean install of Windows 10. So I'm actually going to choose that option because I don't need anything that's on this computer. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Remove Everything, and it's going to go ahead and prepare everything for me. Now, when this finishes, oh, it has one more question for me. It's saying, it's going to go ahead and remove everything, your apps and your files. Do you want to go ahead and continue? Well, I definitely do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Next. And then it's going to go ahead and prepare everything again. Now, it's going to go ahead, and here it is. It wants to know, are you ready? So I'm going to click Next. And it's going to prepare one more time. It's going to ask you a few times. It basically just wants to make sure if I do this, everything's gone. Are you okay with that? That's basically why it keeps asking you so many times. Because it wants to give you every chance to back out of it in case for some reason you accidentally clicked it. But I'm going to let that prepare. Then I'm going to go ahead and let it reset here just momentarily. And let you see what it looks like as it's resetting. And it should be up here in just a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, it says it's resetting this PC, and in just a moment or two, it'll show you a percentage, and it'll let you know how far along it is. So mine is at 1% at the moment, but as time goes on, it'll finish, and then it's going to come up, and it's going to go through the Windows setup so that you can set it up like a brand new computer, and it will act like a brand new computer. And you might have to go and actually install all your Windows updates, and you will have to install all your programs again, too. But this should help you to get your computer back up and running. 
So I'm going to go ahead and let that continue to run so that you can see the end product. Okay, so as you can see, it just finished resetting the computer and now it's actually installing the Windows. So what it did is it got rid of everything that was on the computer. It downloaded the new Windows and now it's actually installing the Windows 10 again. Now this would actually work the same steps if you did it with Windows 11. So you can reset Windows 11 the same way. But this will work with Windows 10. And I'll be glad to create a video with Windows 11 if that's something that you all would like. So just let me know down below in the comments and I'll be glad to do that for you. So we're going to give it a few more minutes to finish and then I'll show you exactly what it looks like after the reset and install has finished. So let's give it just a few more minutes. Okay, so the computer just came back up from being reset and installing the Windows 10. So now it's just the normal Windows 10 setup that you would have when you buy a new computer. So you would go and you would select your region and then you'd go through and probably set up your account and time zone and keyboard and all those kind of things. But it's just a normal Windows 10 setup that you would normally do. But this would definitely help you to reset your Windows 10 machine and get it back and working. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to get back to you about it. And if there's a video that you'd like me to create, please let me know that also in the comments below. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like this, how to reset your Windows 10 computer, and other things. And I really hope you all have a great day. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.